dear students uh, we shall study the new topic on differential equations uh, according to the syllabus this will be the last topic of uh, differential equations that is in the module last module that is module number 4 of mat dip uh, 301 that is for lateral entry students uh, this especially this last chapter has got uh, too much of importance in the field of differential equations because uh, most of the uh, differential equations are expressed in terms of uh, uh, derivative symbol that is capital D where we start with uh, capital D and there onwards uh, plenty of uh, um, uh, application problems we will be studying in engineering discipline. Okay. Uh, to start with uh, the general uh, form of uh, differential equation as per the syllabus we have differential equations with second order and higher order with constant coefficients is there. That means we have been studying uh, the same variety not like uh, variable coefficients but constant coefficients only up to first order only we studied till the uh, previous syllabus that means Bernoulli's differential equation. It was only with uh, dy by dx and dx by dy. What was the order of the derivative? That was with first order derivative. First order but it is uh, to be extended how the second order and higher order differential equations are going to be solved. If it is the case then how to start with then what are the types of solutions we are going to come across and uh, for each uh, type of uh, uh, differential equation how the solution method is going to be proposed. That is most important because uh, this chapter especially in my opinion is a highly important chapter for you even for all the application problems which you are going to see as engineering models. Okay. Now, the title is uh, second order and higher order differential equations, but still it is with the constant coefficients because there are two types of uh, differential equations we are going to handle with. First type is constant coefficients and second type is variable coefficients, but variable coefficients at the end I shall mention, but this is with uh, constant coefficients. Let me write the standard form of uh, second order differential equation differential equations of second order and higher order with constant coefficients. You understand the depth of the meaning of this title differential equations with con, uh, uh, second, or, second order and higher order with constant coefficients. Here it is very clearly given in your syllabus that is to be uh, clearly understood because other than this type also differential equations you are going to come across you are going to uh, accept and then the method of writing solution is totally different. But for these differential equations whatever the uh, types of uh, uh, solution uh, steps I am going to propose, I am going to discuss with all of you. Then one by one in depth you can understand uh, how this nature of the differential equation is going to appear. If that is the case then what is the type of solution you are going to propose. We will see uh, the theoretical discussion related to this uh, uh, second order and higher order differential equations. So that what is the general or uh, differential equation and what is the notation we are going to introduce and all that we will see in the first differential equation. Okay. <clears throat> Consider the standard form of consider the standard form of uh, differential equation. differential equation with constant coefficient. As this is very important step that is k1 dn y divided by dxn <coughs> plus k2 dn minus 1 y divided by dx to the power n minus 1 plus k3 
dn y divided uh, sorry dn minus 2 y divided by it is dx to the power n minus 2 plus so on plus so it is kn it is y is equal to x of x this is very very important step <laughs> you can verify uh, this particular uh, equation which is written in the actual notation actual notation means that is d by dx form uh, and uh, nth order and this is n minus 1th order this is n minus 2th order similarly this is without derivative but only the dependent variable is there where values of k1 where k1 comma k2 up to kn are the constants so those you are already referring the textbooks you will find k1 these values k1 k2 k3 up to kn they are probably you will find with a different notation as p1 p2 p3 and so on they are all constants but that means when they are constants here there is no variable which is multiplied and this is function of x right side capital r of x some others they write some others they write x of x only so this is the general form of differential equation of nth order okay you can write that equation 1 equation 1 is called nth order nth order ordinary differential equation with constant coefficients these are constants means constant coefficients are k1 k2 k3 k4 up to kn okay so this is the base for the next four and five lectures which we are going to discuss uh, with constant coefficients and at the end i may conclude this chapter with uh, variable coefficients then now we have to deal with uh, the entire uh, setup of the differential equation uh, maybe it is a second order maybe it is a third order maybe it is a fourth order but in two different forms one is if rhs equal to 0 rhs means x of x equal to 0 then we call this lhs that is equal to 0 as homogeneous differential equation if it is not equal to 0 then it is called non homogeneous differential equation okay then theoretically before going to write those two cases as homogeneous and non homogeneous first of all we will introduce one notation for this differential equation that is called linear differential operator introduce introduce dy by dx otherwise d by dx is equal to capital d d square divided by it is dx square is equal to d square d cube divided by dx cube is equal to capital d cube and so on okay as as d the linear differential operator linear differential operator because everywhere i will be using this notation that is capital d where the equation is to be modeled and the solution is to be written based on the notation uh, which appears that is like uh, d to the power 1 or d to the power 2 or d to the power 3 like that means first order derivative or second order derivative or third order derivative like that okay but anyway uh, the notation uh, i'll be introducing like uh, d by dx is equal to d if that is the case then here this is a dependent variable where i will take that dependent variable outside like this equation 1 implies k1 it is d to the power n divided by dx to the power n plus k2 it is d to the power n minus 1 divided by dx to the power n minus 1 and plus so on plus of kn i am taking this y outside because it is a dependent variable and it is in the form of x of x that is equation number 2 remember uh, here you should not get confused 
because this bracket after this bracket I have written this as y do not read this as a product that is this bracket is multiplied to this y this bracket totally this function totally this function is uh, an operator operator in terms of linear differential operator I can call this one as in short form linear differential operator LDO uh, in some textbooks authors they use that notation as LDO that is our D that is linear differential operator whenever for any engineering situation of the problems uh, they when they want to model it as a uh, uh, engineering problem then uh, this role of this D will be uh, dominant uh, how to accept it and then how to eliminate it accept it as a differential equation and eliminate it as integration right. So, this is a part where we are going to now include in the form of linear differential operator ok. If this is D then first order if this is D square it is second order if this is D cube it is of third order. Now what is this order then this is uh, coming from that side towards this side. So, I called it as uh, uh, this equation standard form of differential equation with the constant coefficients of order n of order n why I written that order n because the highest ordered derivative in this differential equation is that is n what is the degree then highest degree means the whole thing whole to the power of 1. So, order of the derivative is the highest order and order of the sorry degree of the derivative is the degree of highest order derivative uh, then this is nth order derivative this is n minus 1th order derivative accordingly I have written dependent variable I kept it outside then this becomes the totally this becomes k1 in terms of capital D therefore d to the power n you have to write uh, replacing this d by dx by means of a linear differential operator plus k2 that is uh, d to the power it is n minus 1 plus k3 it is uh, d to the power n minus 2 right then plus so on plus of the last constant and it is multiplied ok all this uh, constants are multiplied to the derivatives and it is operated on y this is equal to x of x this is I can call it as at this stage equation number 3 therefore you, you carefully observe that all the derivatives are replaced with the corresponding linear differential operator that is LDO all the all the uh, symbols that means in the form of dy by dx d square y by dx square d cube y divided by dx cube they are all replaced by means of linear differential operator because every time you do not do all these uh, details with the dy by dx form only use this LDO then uh, this bracketed quantity I can represent this bracketed quantity I can represent it as f of d that is function of d y is equal to x of x this is a very simple form we represented but it conveys so much of meaning in understanding the differential equation. So, and uh, now my next discussion will be completely depending on this simple form of the equation may be f of d where f of d if you want you can write where f of d equal to k1 it is d to the power n plus k2 d to the power n minus 1 plus k3 it is d to the power n minus 2 and so on k1 k2 k3 that means it is a differential operator linear differential operator terms written in the decreasing powers of n decreasing powers of n means this is the highest power of n n only this is n minus 1 this is n minus 2 in the decreasing order we are written therefore this is function of linear differential operator therefore f of d y is equal to x of x is our discussion throughout uh, in this chapter that is differential equation of second and higher order with constant coefficients the lengthier form I put it in this form. Now my uh, target is what is the behavior of this x of x when it is 0 and when it is not 0 when it is not 0 various cases we discuss but when it is 0 
we call it as homogeneous differential equation. Okay. So, now I will start with this lecture is very important because you have to understand uh, in this lecture then proceed to the next lecture because solution steps we are going to discuss here all those solution steps in this first hour in this beginning uh, lecture in this topic we are going to discuss same thing will be utilized in the forthcoming solutions of the problems because if you do not understand the solution procedure because three important cases I am going to write now those three important cases will uh, give you the solution methods how the first case with uh, what type of roots and what type of solution and second case what type of roots different from the case one what type of solution third case what type of roots uh, completely different from case one and case two then how the solution procedure is to be applied okay so accordingly i, I shall take uh, the discussion on x equal, x of x equal to 0 and x of x is not equal to 0 therefore the uh, cases on the right side first of all i'll discuss about homogeneous differential equations that homogeneous means right side is 0 now i'll consider directly that is x of x equal to 0 first case right let case 1 let x of x equal to 0 what is that x of x equal to 0 means that is equal to rhs rhs of which equation 4 rhs of 4 x of x equal to 0 implies f of d it is y is equal to 0 rx equal uh, sorry x of x equal to 0 is called is called homogeneous is called homogeneous differential equation why it is homogeneous differential equation how do you accept this this as homogeneous differential equation uh, i claim that uh, it is homogeneous but how do you um, uh, accept that is a homogeneous because homogeneous means degrees must be same as we, as we discussed in the previous uh, differential equation uh, homogeneous and non homogeneous but here in terms of derivatives is there how do you accept that is homogeneous because here this k1 k2 up to kn they are all constants they are not in terms of variables that is x and y but here this is uh, d to the power n y divided by dx to the power n it is only the derivative and here also it is the derivative and here also it is the derivative but the all the coefficients are having the same degree throughout therefore it is called as homogeneous differential equation because rx uh, sorry right side is zero that means x of x equal to zero if that is not zero then it is called non homogeneous differential equation okay now with respect to this i will take this as equation number uh, 5 and this 5 gives three different cases of writing the solution okay the solution responsible for this type of uh, differential equation when right side is 0 is called complementary function that is called solution responsible for LHS of the problem that is called complementary function. If x of x is not equal to 0 then solution also we write for the RHS is it is called particular solution otherwise particular integral then the general solution is to be written as a combination linear combination of these two solutions. Uh, complementary function plus particular integral this constitutes a general solution for the given problem when right side is not equal to 0 ok. So, now uh, you have to understand very clearly the next three cases which I am going to write as uh, case 1 uh, row what, what type of roots we are going to obtain and what type of roots we are going to obtain in uh, second case and in third case that is imaginary roots how these imaginary roots solution is proposed uh, uh, in order to write cos function and sin uh, trigonometric function ok. Let me go for case number 1 what is that case number 1 uh, when f of d has certain types of roots ok here the solution obtained 
here the solution obtained for phi is called complementary function. Complementary function. In every problem I will use this notation complementary function uh, given as given as yc or cf. Any one of these two notations I will use complementary function uh, cf otherwise yc like that ok. Then yc is given as follows. yc is given as follows this is case number 1 and in that case number 1 then in that a that is first type of roots we are going to write. If f of d equal to f of m equal to 0 gives, gives the values of m values of m that means what you are doing here from this d equal to m right from here to here d equal to m that is for the time being we replace that d by uh, number that is equal to m this number will help us to say that whether it is a, a, a numerical value of type what ok. This gives the values of m as m1 that is m2, m2, comma m3 and so on which are which are all different which are all different values different and uh, real values. real values then up to how many values the you can expect from this equation that is m1 m2 m3 up to m n because we are considered uh, the differential equation of the highest order as n therefore m1 m2 m3 up to m n so n number of values uh, for roots we are going to represent then the solution then the solution is yc or cf as yc is equal to cf is equal to c1. Uh, there is a theorem uh, to write the solution of this one. So, you can study in any textbook that theorem is given, but theorem is not in your syllabus. So, only the last proof of that theorem I am going to write that is the step I am going to write now for each root c1 e to the power m1x plus c2 e to the power m 2 x plus c 3 e to the power m 3 x and plus so on like that. At least you remember this step that is enough. Whenever, whenever you have, whenever you have the roots m 1 is not equal to m 2 is not equal to m 3 is not equal to m 4 and so on. That means all the roots are different or oh, yeah, no value is repeated all the values are but they are in the real number system their roots are real means values are real but they are uh, not equal to each other that means every value is different if that is the case this is the method of writing the solution that should be uh, derived in the theorem but only the last uh, result I am writing uh, because all those theoretical details are not there in your syllabus then only the last step I can propose like this as case 1 that means first variety of roots. Now second variety that is b if I write. Now what I claimed uh, in the uh, first uh, uh, expectation of the types of roots in the opposite type you can expect they are real that means they come in the real number system but equal to each other that means m1 equal to m2 equal to m3 equal to m4 equal to every value is equal then how to write the solution that is also given in the theorem that is also not there in your syllabus only the last step I am going to write and that must be used for your sol solution of the problems ok. Here if f of d is equal to f of m is equal to 
0. Actually, uh, this f of m equal to 0, I forgot to mention, uh, this is auxiliary equation. This is called auxiliary equation. You remember, I will use this word in every problem. This word I will, I will be using. Uh, when, when f of d is written as f of m, that is called auxiliary equation. Auxiliary equation means you have to accelerate. That means from d to m. d is uh, the notation used for variable quantity, but we are taking that variable as some constant as m. Therefore, it is called auxiliary equation, right. So, uh, f of d equal to f of m equal to 0 be the auxiliary equation, be the auxiliary equation gives the roots, gives the values as m1 equal to m2 equal to m3 and so on that is equal to b some number that is equal to any notation you can call for that matter uh, uh, the same notation you have to use there is no rule as such but any notation you can use but this is a constant this is a number this is also a number this also a number because it is an auxiliary equation auxiliary equation means it is a numerical value then uh, m1 equal to m2 equal to all the values are same that is equal to b therefore this is called uh, anyway this is real values and uh, different different values and real okay here also these values are auxiliary equation gives the values as real and repeated real and repeated remember real and distinct real and repeated real and distinct means this is the case real and repeated means now I am going to write that is solution that is called as yc that means complementary function then that complementary function is called uh, c1 e to the power what is that uh, bx in place of in place of m1x that is bx plus because m1 equal to what value b m2 equal to b m3 equal to b everywhere you must write b but second term will be followed by multiplication of x e to the it is according to the theorem uh, which is given as theoretical discussion to write this uh, solution step okay then c1 e to the power bx plus c2 c2 x into e to the power bx plus c3 x square e to the power bx plus so on like that. So, this is very important second case. Second case as uh, <coughs> the case of uh, roots are real then repeated. Real means they come in the real number system. When the values come in the real number system, we accept those values as real numbers. Okay. So, this is most important. Every problem I will apply this step and uh, depending on the nature of the roots, this step, but it is called complementary function. Remember, this is for LHS of the problem. This is LHS of the problem, right? f of d y equal to 0 when we consider x of x equal to 0. Now, the last case means third a type of roots is very important. It is called imaginary roots. What is that behavior or how that imaginary roots will appear? Uh, let me explain. that I can make it as c here, okay, that I can make it as c. If f of d equal to z, f of d y equal to 0 gives, gives f of m uh, equal to 0 as auxiliary equation, auxiliary equation such that, such that for example, such that for example, okay, f of d is second or is of second order, is of second order, right, is of second order, then, then the roots, 
roots are of the type roots are of the type of the type m equal to alpha plus or minus i beta this is very important alpha plus or minus i beta as imaginary roots almost all the problems in this chapter will fall in any one of these three cases depending on the nature of the problem either they may be uh, having roots real and different they may be having the roots real and uh, repeated or they may be roots having uh, imaginary and uh, with imaginary even other uh, numbers also will be followed okay so what is the type of uh, solution step you can propose for these imaginary roots okay if this is alpha m equal to alpha plus minus i beta fine uh, in this case how we can consider Uh, to write the solution in terms of trigonometric function let uh, m is equal to alpha plus or minus i beta uh, takes two roots right two roots because always imaginary numbers will appear in pairs that means always together they will appear one is plus sign and another one is minus sign therefore uh, takes two roots as this is m1 equal to alpha plus i beta and m2 equal to alpha minus i beta according to case 1 i am going to replace this m1 by this quantity and m2 by this quantity okay i am i am taking only for the example f of d is of second order second order means there must be two roots second order differential equation means d to the power 2 then it must possess two roots of the equations then m1 and m2 that means m1 equal to alpha plus i beta and m2 is equal to alpha minus i beta so there will be two roots uh, uh, in the form of uh, imaginary number see why we call it as imaginary number how we are getting imaginary number uh, uh, you can recall because you have studied the complex numbers earlier maybe in another module uh, i am going to discuss about the complex numbers but imaginary imaginary number means where the numbers are represented on y axis that is called imaginary axis and uh, x values are represented on uh, x axis that is called real axis okay so together when you write x and y x and y x and y like x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 one with real one with uh, imaginary that is called imaginary uh, plane therefore m1 equal to alpha plus i beta and m2 is equal to alpha minus i beta right so if these are the two cases then anyway these two are different first uh, half of the uh, conclusion we will take from this case itself uh, two roots are different therefore uh, y is equal to c1 otherwise yc is equal to c1 e to the power alpha plus i beta into this is x in place of m1 i substituted this value plus c2 e to the power alpha minus i beta that is multiplied by x okay then uh, here uh, we don't use this uh, step uh, as it is in in the solution uh, steps of the problem because we have to convert this one every time we don't use this step in writing the solution we use trigonometric functions how those trigonometric functions are uh, to be introduced uh, for these imaginary roots let me explain that is y is equal to c1 e to the power alpha x e to the power i beta x you write like this and plus c2 you uh, see e to the power uh, alpha x as it is and e to the power minus i beta x okay then what is the next step we have to write that is by the euler's formula in complex numbers this is c1 and e to the power alpha x you can write outside e to the power alpha x now e to the power i beta x uh, what is the uh, euler's formula in complex numbers 
e to the power i theta is equal to cos theta plus i sin theta and e to the power minus i theta is equal to what? Cos theta minus i sin theta when it is minus sign. So, both I will use uh, first term and second term respectively e to the power i beta x cos beta x plus sin i uh, sin beta x. This is for first one and c2 uh, e to the power alpha x that is cos beta x according to this theta, theta is equal to beta x then minus of i sin it is beta x is there. Therefore, you can write uh, e, to, uh, e to the power alpha x as common also, but uh, cos beta x you can take uh, from these two that is e to the power alpha x into cos beta x, right? It will take the constants c1 plus of c2, right? And uh, e to the power plus of e to the power alpha x into uh, that is uh, sin beta x will be taking the coefficients uh, that is i also is common that is c1 minus c1 minus c2 and it is multiplied by i correct huh? because i i kept it outside therefore this i will take it as c1 plus c2 both anyway c1 is constant c2 is constant and c1 plus c2 both are so both uh, that summation is equal to constant and c1 and c2 c1 minus c2 along with i this is also constant then uh, this must be a right this must be a e to the power alpha x cos beta x and plus b e to the power alpha x and sin of it is beta x. So, this is the final form you can call it as yc this yc otherwise complementary function is for imaginary roots is this one. Simply every author in every textbooks they write that is uh, c1 e to the power alpha x into cos beta x plus c2 e to the power alpha x into sin beta x. That means this part they will write along in terms of any constants no problem, but uh, uh, c1 and c2 you can mention like this c1 uh, that is uh, c1 plus c2 is equal to a and uh, i into c1 minus c2 the second bracket I have chosen that is equal to constant both are constants okay uh, values therefore in the short form so we do not use uh, uh, this form like uh, expanded also and this also but we will write immediately this type of solution right all these three uh, various uh, solution uh, steps we will write in the forthcoming problems one by one problems I shall discuss on this case first that means right side is equal to 0 that is f of dy equal to 0 then how the uh, solution is going to be addressed for uh, uh, various functions uh, uh, in the left side of uh, linear differential operator. Okay. So, one is before I uh, uh, move on to the problems let me remind you uh, in the first case uh, we have taken that is roots are real and different what is the solution in the second case we have taken roots are real and uh, repeated the solution we have taken and in the third case roots are not real but imaginary roots are not real but they are imaginary this is the solution that means a into e to the power alpha x and cos beta x and plus of b into e to the power alpha x into sin beta x so this is what uh, uh, the solution procedure we are going to accept and now uh, we will choose uh, the method of applying all the three cases in the varieties of problems under uh, second order and higher order differential equations. So, directly you have the you have an advantage when once you understand the solution procedure these things you do not forget this is very important step. Okay. So, now I shall start with the first problem. Uh, how this uh, only on the homogeneous equations. What is the uh, solution procedure when 
the given differential equation is said to be homogeneous, then how we have to solve that homogeneous differential equation uh, using uh, these two uh, different uh, cases. That means one is roots are real and different, another one is roots are real and repeated and third one is roots are not real, but they are imaginary. Example number one, I will take like this. Uh, anyway, solve the following, solve the following ODEs. Same, it is a common heading, right. Uh, it should be d square y divided by it is dx square plus 5 into dy by dx plus it is 6 into y that is equal to 0. This is one sample. Uh, carefully observe first the three problems I am going to write according to three cases. This is case number 1. Next problem I am going to write as case number 2 and another problem I am going to write it as case number 3. In the case number 1, I will be writing the roots are real and different exactly according to the according to the type of roots we are going to write m1 and m2, m1 and m2 are real that means they come under the real number system, they are not imaginary number and still they produce the solution according to c1 e to the power m1 x plus c2 e to the power m2 x. Of that type, I am going to write the solution. In the solution, so every problem you expect uh, in terms of linear differential operator. Okay. Now, this is given, introduce, introduce d by dx because there are two derivatives they are given, d by dx equal to d, only up to second order you have to take and d square divided by dx square is equal to, it is d square. Okay. There are two symbols, uh, one is capital D and the another one is d square. Therefore, this differential equation is nothing but d square y plus 5 into dy plus 6 into y is equal to 0. When you introduce uh, uh, this uh, linear differential operator, if you want you can represent uh, uh, d the linear differential operator L D O linear differential operator. Then taking that y outside d square plus 5 d plus 6 operating on y is equal to 0. I told you already that uh, do not read uh, this function as multiplication. This part is to be multiplied for y do not read like that. This is a this is the operator in the form of what? that is in the form of f of d y is equal to it is 0, f of d y is equal to 0. That means f of d is differential part, y is dependent variable and right side x of x equal to 0, this is called homogeneous equation. This is called homogeneous, homogeneous ODE. I can call. Now, the next six problems I will be writing only on this because with the different uh, types of uh, uh, coefficients, different uh, order of the derivative also I will write. All the varieties I will cover first of all in the case of homogeneous, then I will move on to the non-homogeneous that means right side is not equal to 0. Now, this is the case of homogeneous because x of x equal to 0. This is f of d means uh, in, in the form of uh, decreasing powers of d, as I told you in the general equation, it is a decreasing power. There it is n, n minus 1 and so on. Here it is 2, 2 minus 1 and 2 to the power 0. Like that it goes. It is in the decreasing order. Okay. So, when this is the case, now we have to find out the roots. This, uh, to write the solution, this gives what type of roots? What type of roots means one among the three types of roots we are going to expect. Uh, one among three types of roots means one is real and different, second one is real and repeated and third one is imaginary. Okay. Now, uh, yeah. uh, solving this equation converting to auxiliary form, how these roots are coming out, let us verify. Writing 
f of d is equal to f of m is equal to 0 as only this part you have to take and equate to 0 as auxiliary equation. In every problem I will do this job. First, this is the first important step, right? Auxiliary equation like uh, AE, most of the times I will take AE from the next problem onwards. I do not write all these details. F of D is equal to F of M. That means D is replaced by a number where D is not a number. D is a derivative, but M is a number. It is only for the temporary purpose we consider, okay f of d is equal to f of m equal to 0 as auxiliary equation, then uh, if that is the case, then I will choose this as m square plus 5 m and plus 6 equal to 0. What is this? This is our quadratic equation. This is our quadratic equation means this equation must have two types of roots. When it is a quadratic equation, it must possess two roots because the highest degree of this equation is 2. We must uh, factorize this and after factorization, uh, this must give two values of m. What is that? m square plus 3m plus 2m because you have to factorize. This 5 you can write uh, 3 plus 2, correct? Huh? 3 plus 2 into m plus this is 6 you can write. Is it correct? Therefore, m square plus 3m plus 2m plus 6 equal to 0. Then you can expect m you can take common from the first one that is uh, m into m plus 3 that is uh, here 2 into m plus 3 that is equal to 0. m into m plus 3 and this coefficient in the bracketed quantities are same. You can write m plus 2 this m plus 2 into common factor m plus 3 that is equal to 0 that is m plus 2 into m plus 3 that is equal to 0 then uh, we can have two factors that is m plus 2 and m plus 3 let us write uh, uh, this as a quadratic equation with uh, two types of roots otherwise otherwise direct method also you can apply what is that direct method you can take like this m is equal to minus b plus minus root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. That also must give the same values. Let us verify minus b because this equation, uh, what it is? This equation is nothing but ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. That is quadratic equation. Okay, what is b here? That is 5. That means minus 5 plus minus and uh, root of it is b square means 5 square it is 25 minus it is 4 into a into 6 divided by it is 2a. It is 2 into 1. Therefore, minus 5 by 2 it is plus or minus uh, square root of 25 here minus 6 into 4 correct uh, 4 ac that is a is 1 and c is 6 4 means 24 that is root of 1 therefore 1 by 2 that is equal to minus 5 by 2 plus 1 by 2 uh, and minus 5 by 2 minus 1 by 2 if you take the lcm this one uh, therefore minus uh, 5 uh, 2 is common minus 5 plus 1 that is minus 4 by 2 and minus 5 minus 1 it is minus 6 by 2. What is the final value uh, that is equal to 4 by 2 means minus 2 and 6 by 2 means minus 3. Here we have the same values. This equation gives m equal to minus 2 from this bracket and m is equal to when you equate to 0 that is minus 3. Therefore, if you are not familiar, for example, if you are not familiar with uh, factorization, then you go for this uh, algebraic method because this is the ultimate method. That means this is the final approach you can say. Almost uh, 
last method uh, 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 which you can take the roots as uh, m1 and m2. That means quadratic equation means it must possess two values in the case of quadratic equation. I shall continue in the next uh, discussion. So, up to here I would like to stop and then uh, you uh, understand how to write auxiliary equation and how to write uh, the roots of the equation. Thank you.